Hi friends, hi family, hi friends of family and friends. Um, my name's Erica, in case you don't know me. I'm a registered nurse, and I realized recently that with the spread of the coronavirus and the number one CDC recommendation of hand washing to prevent the spread of it, I realized that I've been trained to wash my hands as an RN, um, but many of you have not. So um, let's talk about how to best wash your hands. We'll do this real fast and then you can go out in the world and wash your hands all the time and know that you're doing your best job to uh, keep the spread of the coronavirus down. So, okay, um, the CD says, CDC says to wash your hands for 20 seconds. Um, in nursing school, we learn to sing happy birthday. So sing happy birthday. We'll see how long this takes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear someone you love. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That was 20 seconds. So it's longer than you think. We usually say to sing it twice and now I realize why. <laughs> um, uh, so sing happy birthday twice to someone you love. Think about um, people who you'd like to see make it to their next birthday and beyond. Uh, another thing to know about hand washing, friction is the number one key to getting rid of stuff. Obviously you wanna use soap and water. You don't have to use super hot water. Don't scald your hands. Um, warm, even cold water is fine. Just use lots of friction, get that soap lathering, um, and that'll be great. Uh, what else? Um, oh, when I wash my hands a lot, they get really dry. And sometimes, if I'm not careful, they get cracked and um, start to hurt. So I always put on lotion after. You know me, you know I love this stuff. But any lotion that you like um, that will get you to put it on after you dry your hands is great because then it'll keep you washing your hands, which is the key. Um, we don't want anybody getting painful uh, cracks and breaks in their hands. Um, on another note, if you are able to wash your hands, do it, as opposed to using hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is great for especially people in the medical profession that are going from room to room to room and need a way to um, get rid of germs quickly. But if we're out in the world, it's not the best because it can create super bugs, um, but it's better than nothing. So I won't say don't use it, but I will say if you can wash your hands, wash your hands. It's way better, better for your hands, um, better for um, the population. And a couple notes that I learned in nursing school about hand sanitizer. If you use it 10 times in a row, then you have to wash your hands. And if your hands are visibly soiled, like you can see dirt on them, you have to wash your hands. You can't use hand sanitizer. It won't work. Got it? Okay, so hand washing is better. Um, if you're like me and you have long nails, um, do yourself a favor right now. Paint them clear or paint them something transparent so you can see if you have any gunk in there. Uh, while I'm washing my hands with my nails, I like to scrub the nails themselves get under there. Um, you might sing happy birthday three times, who knows, to really get a good job. Um, get all the gunk out from under your nails. Wash your hands really well before you eat finger food, after you change your baby's diaper, before and after you go to the bathroom. Come on, guys. <laughs> I know. Um, and forgive yourself. We're not all perfect. We can't do it every time. I have kids. I understand. Um, do your best. Do your very best. And that's all we can do to try and keep each other safe and healthy. Thanks so much for watching. Share this with anybody you love who you think might benefit and ask me questions. Um, I'm here to help. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Bye.